Good morning, everyone. We will continue today with the sound lectures. We'll start with uh, solving an example using uh, what we have learned in the last lecture. In this example, we have uh, Maureen uh, is standing on a mo mountain top and yells over to her friend with an intensity level measured to be 70 dB, 10 meter away from where she is standing. If Stephanie is on a peak 500 meter away, what is the intensity level of the yell that she hears from Maureen? Assume the same threshold of hearing for both, no loss of energy along the way, and two significant digits in all values given. We have Maureen here on the mountain. And we have Stephanie here. If Maureen intensity at 10 meter away here 70 dB, how much is the intensity that Stephanie is hearing if she is 500 meter away from Maureen. So in this case, we will uh, put the equation here. Beta one is 10 log I one over I naught. We have 70 equals to 10 log I1 over I0 or I have I1 over I0 equals to 10 to the power 7. In this case I1 equals to I0 times 10 to the power 7 given by 1 to the power minus 5 watts per meter squared. So this is I1 right on here. I calculated I1 so I can calculate the power generated by Maureen. I know that I1 here equals to the power generated by Maureen divided by the surface of the sphere, 4 pi r1 squared. She is 10 meters away from this point, which means the power is 4 pi r1 squared times i1, or the power is 4 pi times 10 meters squared, times one to the power minus seven, and the power generated by Maureen is four pi 10 to the power minus three watts. This is the power of the, the sound generated by Maureen. Now we need to calculate the intensity at location P2, which is that Stephanie. Intensity I2 equals to, I have the same power. However, now the radius has changed. The radius now is 500 meters. So I have I2 equals four pi, 10 to the power minus three divided by four pi times 500 squared. Then I2 is, four pi is gonna cancel. And now it's gonna be four to the power
minus 9. So this is watts per meter squared. Then beta 2 as 10 log I2 over I0 or beta equals to 10 log 4 to the power minus 9 divided by 1 to the power minus 12 and beta 2 equals to 36 dB. Okay, so uh, what are those applications that are using sound frequencies? We have plenty of applications. Some of them, they do exist in nature, and some of them, uh, we utilize them. Uh, engineers utilize them to build devices and instruments that relies on the sound frequencies. For example, we have the ultrasound imaging. Ultrasound imaging is very mature uh, uh, technology now and has advanced very well. As you can see here, we can you can see the baby's uh, image using the ultrasound 2D uh, imaging. Nowadays, we can get a 3D image using the ultrasound technology and also record the videos of the babies inside the wombs using the ultrasound imaging technology. Uh, sonars have been utilized to uh, map the floors of the oceans. And uh, also we have dolphins and bats are using the, that's natural technology for them to echo localize uh, their uh, targets. In medicine, ultrasound uh, has been used intensively. One of the uh, applications is diagnosing the, the eyes and uh, evaluating the visions and uh, the performance, the quality. Ultrasound uh, frequency have been used uh, from 1 to 20 megahertz. Ultrasound, as we said uh, in uh, imaging, 2D imaging and 3D imaging nowadays and measurement for babies to make sure babies are healthy. All this has been done uh, as non-invasive techniques to measure and uh, evaluate uh, the health of the babies. We have also the diagnosing of thermological uh, conditions. In this case, uh, as you can see, using the ultrasound technology where we were able this is a healthy eye, and this is uh, the eye that we are evaluating that has a glaucoma inside. This is the healthy eye. You can see that uh, the iris is very well uh, uh, non-stressed in here. However, this iris has been stressed because of the pressure that has been put uh, against the iris. This pressure will cause uh, a discomfort. Uh, we have also uh, used uh, ultrasound uh, frequencies and physiotherapy. Those are uh, some transducers that you put in some locations of the, of the body uh, with sound frequencies. You can create some pulses that help the muscles to, to, to help to stimulate the muscles and allow uh, a better uh, blood flow inside the, the muscles and bringing it back to the normal uh, operational conditions we have used. Also this technology, the ultrasound imaging to measure the blood flow as well uh, using the, uh, the Doppler ultrasound. So ultrasound has been utilized uh, uh, on a different uh, on different applications use, using different frequencies. Uh, nowadays, you can buy the, the the probe and hook it up to uh, a mobile and download the, the application for this probe, and you can take uh, images right on your mobile. So the sonar and the echo. Location relies on 
generating a signal, a sound signal, transmitting this uh, signal, and then measuring later on the reflected back signal from the obstacle. In this case, you can measure the distance between uh, the location where you uh, generated the signal and uh, the time it took for that signal to come back. This technology has been used uh, in sonar in order to uh, map the, the floor of the oceans and uh, also to find submarine and fishes also. You have the echolocation that do exist in dolphins and bats. It's a, a natural technology, a technology that does exist in those uh, animals that help them to do exactly the same in order to determine the location of their enemies. So how does sonar uh, work? For example, let's look at, uh, at, this, uh, at this example. We have a sonar that uh, generates an ultrasound signal, knowing that the speed of the sound in the fresh water is uh, 1.5 to the power of 3 meters per second. This ultrasound signal sent from the boat on a, in a freshwater lake strikes a school of fish and is received back at the surface after a total elapsed time of 100 millisecond. How far are the fish from the boat? So we're looking here at the distance. Distance, D, we do have speed, V, and we do have time. This is this, this famous equation. Then we need to calculate this distance. We have the speed, we have the time. However, you have to be careful here with the time because when you do calculate the distance, this 100 millisecond is the time it takes the signal to go all the way to the fish, reflect and come back. So the time here is twice the time needed to calculate this distance. So we also, we only need uh, half of this 100 millisecond which is 50 millisecond and remember this is millisecond so it should be 10 to the power minus a 3 and in this case we know that d is 75 meter so the answer here is is d